Do you want to start multi-streaming to the new YouTube Shorts vertical platform? Lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And just like in my bedroom, I'll make sure to keep it shorter than you expected. The first thing that we're going to need is Streamlabs desktop, so I'll leave this linked in the description down below where you can grab Streamlabs desktop completely free because we're going to be taking advantage of their new dual output feature, which is going to allow us to stream to a horizontal platform and a vertical platform for free. So once you have it downloaded, open, run through the installation process, and I'll see you on the inside. If this is your first time using Streamlabs, I'm going to leave a video in the top right corner where you can pause this video and speed run through that video to understand how the heck to even use this, because I hold your hand every step of the way in that video so you won't have any troubles. But if you've used Streamlabs before, then continue on in this video. And if you're wondering where I got this dope animated starting soon screen, then you probably already know I got it from today's sponsor, Ohm.TV. They're basically my favorite place to get anything that I need relating to my stream design purposes, like emotes, alerts, all that good stuff. But their stream design bestseller packages are my favorite part, like their dark mode series option. We can click on the left-hand side to the fourth option, make it full screen. And you'll see that we have everything you could possibly want for your stream in this package, like animated alerts, animated webcam overlays, which I'll be using later in the video. You got profile graphics for your profile, like panels, animated starting student screens, literally everything you're gonna want. So if you wanna take your stream design to the next level, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below so you can find it. But enough yapping already, let's get back to the video. So once you have stream Labs open, you're going to want to make a gameplay scene or whatever you're going to want to use to stream. I've made an extremely basic gameplay scene here. I just added a screen capture source, added my webcam, and I added an animated webcam overlay from that own package I just showed you. So this is going to be our very basic stream design. And like I said, if you have no idea how to do this, go watch that video I posted earlier. It'll walk you through everything you need to know in order to use Streamlabs. But like I said, I wanted to keep this as short as possible, so we're going to skip past that part. So once you have your stream set up as normal, you're going to go into the bottom left corner and click the settings option. And then we're going to click on the stream tab in the top left corner. And then you'll want to log in with all of the different stream destinations that you want to stream to. So you're able to choose one horizontal platform and one vertical platform for free. But if you want to stream, let's say to Twitch, Kick, and YouTube Shorts, then you're going to need to upgrade to that Streamlabs Ultra, which I will leave linked in the description below as well. But most of you will be fine just doing Twitch and YouTube or YouTube and Kick. So the cool thing about Streamlabs is that you can simply just click the connect button next to the Twitch account if you want to link with your Twitch account. Then you can also do the same thing with YouTube. So take a minute to go and log in to both whatever platforms you want to log in with, especially YouTube because that's the name of the dang video. So make sure to log in and connect your YouTube account to Streamlabs. And if you want to do Kick, then you can also go and get your Kick Stream URL, which basically you just go to the top right corner. You'll go to Creator Dashboard, Settings, and then Stream Key, and then it'll bring you to the page. Wait, that's not the page. What the heck? Go to the Stream Key. I literally just clicked that. That was weird. Stream URL right here and then stream key right here. Copy and paste both of those in there. And there you go. You got your kick connected to your Streamlabs account. So once you have all of the streaming destinations connected that you want to multi-stream to, especially that YouTube shorts option, so just that YouTube account, then we're going to make sure that our output settings are set up all correctly. Like I said, that video I posted at the beginning of this video is going to show you everything you need to set up for your settings portion of your streaming software for Streamlabs. So go watch that if you have no idea what any of these settings do. But assuming you've streamed once or twice before, you should be fine. So that's where we're actually gonna go to the video tab right here. And you'll now notice that there is an enable dual output button right here. So we're simply gonna click that enable dual output. And now you can see we have our horizontal output as well as our vertical output. Now, right now it looks super ugly and we will be able to fix that in just a moment. So don't freak out. I know this can be a little overwhelming, but I promise it's not that bad. Just take your time, take a deep breath and remember that Google is your friend and this video ain't going nowhere. So if you got to pause it, go pee, go do your thing. I'll be right here. So once we've enabled this option right here, we're simply going to click on the vertical option and just confirm that this is set up to be vertical, which right now it's about to be 720 by 1280 and then 60 FPS, which is about the standard. So I'm not going to mess with any of that. And now we're just going to hit done. So now this is where we're going to be able to change what our vertical output looks like. So basically what's going to be showing up on YouTube shorts or whatever vertical platform you want to multi-stream to. So as you can see, it is a little bit messed up. You can see I I have that webcam overlay here and then my webcam's too big and you can't even see the screen capture. So what we're gonna do in order to fix this is actually right over here above your scenes, wherever your scenes may be, it's different layouts for different people. And if you want this layout specifically, 
You can go to the top left corner and click the layout editor. And this is the option that I'm using. So if you want, you can drag and, you know, create and customize it how you want, but there's really no perfect way to have it, whatever you feel most comfortable with. So if mine looks different than yours, that's why don't worry about it. Not a big deal. So we're actually going to go back to the top left corner and click editor. And so wherever you see your scenes list right here, you're actually going to see these two new buttons, right? So you have hide horizontal display and hide vertical display. I found it's a lot easier to customize your vertical output display if you hide your horizontal display because then you're not moving crap around on both of them. So I'm going to hide this horizontal display by clicking that button. And now we're only going to be able to mess with the vertical output option, which is dope, right? So here we'll be able to actually choose if we want to hide them in vertical as well. So like the webcam overlay, honestly, I don't really need it because the webcam is going to be taking up the top portion of the screen. You can if you want, but for this video, I'm not going to. So I'm going to hit hide from vertical there and it's hidden from our little list there. But now I'm going to move my webcam. So I'm going to unlock it. If yours is locked, I like to lock mine so they don't, you know, move all over the place when I'm moving around stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of drag the corners and drag it around until I get it to a spot that I feel comfy with. So I'm going to do right about there. And then now we have our screen capture. So I'm also going to relock that so my dumb butt doesn't move that around because I'm guilty of it, all right? So I'm going to unlock the screen capture, right? And it would probably make a lot more sense if I brought a game up so we can actually see what the viewer is going to be able to see because obviously, like, this is a very short area to display stuff in. So let me go boot up a random game and I'll be right back to see what we're actually looking at here. If you've been watching my streams lately, I've been playing this only up frog game, which is basically only up, but you're a frog. So I'm going to use this game as a demo for this video. So if you guys want to catch us playing this game, maybe we're still playing it. We're over on Twitch and kick every Monday, 7 p.m. Central link is in the description. So now that we have our gameplay, we're going to actually drag the screen capture to wherever we think is going to be the most valuable spot. So since the camera is almost always centered on the frog for this game your game might be different it might vary I'm gonna try and get as much gameplay as I can so maybe right about there and then I'm gonna center it to the best of my abilities so then that way they'll be able to see as much as possible that's where all the action is so depending on your game you might have to get creative with it but right now this is what my YouTube short stream or vertical stream if you're streaming anywhere else will look like I got my webcam on the top and then I got my screen capture on the bottom which I'm gonna lock and then if you wanted to add your alerts and stuff or overlays or text, you'd be able to do that as well. But for this video, we're going to keep it super simple. So now that we have our vertical output for our gameplay designs, we can actually click the show horizontal display back. And now this is what it's going to look like on Twitch, Kick, or any horizontal platform. And this is what it's going to look like on YouTube Shorts or any vertical platform you stream to. Now, if you have different scenes, so let's say I wanted to go to like my just chatting scene, which would be right about here then you'll be able to go and design the vertical output as well because when you change your horizontal output it also changes the vertical output so you'll be able to do the exact same thing we did before by hiding the horizontal and design the vertical and then unhide it there obviously this looks like crap because i'm using the webcams to record this video so there's no webcam there but this is basically what you would want to do so let's go back to the gameplay scene because most of you guys are probably gonna be on one anyways but that's how you would set up between switching scenes because it automatically switches both of them when you switch your scene inside streamlabs which is super convenient so now that our setups are looking clean and everything looks good now is the magic part and honestly i haven't even tried this yet so We'll see if this is going to be an epic fail or not. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the go live button in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to hit go live. And now you'll see we have a couple different options here. On the left hand side, it says dual output is enabled. You must stream to one horizontal and one vertical platform. So that's why we have multi streaming, because that way we have our horizontal on Twitch or kick. And then we have our YouTube as vertical. Now you can feel free to do whatever combination you want, but remember how I said you can only have one vertical and one horizontal for the free plan. That still applies. So if you wanted to have Twitch kick horizontal and then YouTube vertical, you need to upgrade the ultra, which is linked down in the description below. But if you want to stay in the free plan, totally fine. I'm not going to multi-stream to kick just because I want to keep this free for you guys. So we're going to do horizontal to Twitch and then vertical to YouTube. And then from here, if you want, you can click show advanced settings. And that way you're going to be able to customize the title and description for both Twitch and then YouTube as well. So if you wanted to create a YouTube scheduled event, 
what you would do right now is obviously if we click create new event, it's just gonna make a brand new stream based off of whatever the default is on your YouTube channel. But if you wanted to like, like schedule one out so you can make a thumbnail and everything, let me show you how to do that. What we're gonna do is go to your YouTube channel and then you're gonna hit go live. And if this is the first time you've ever done that before, then you're probably gonna have to wait 24 hours for it to verify you before you can actually go live. So sorry, not sorry. But after that 24 hour verification, you'll be able to click on the stream tab in the top left, and then you'll be able to change the default settings. So this is like the last default settings. We were playing this horror game. And so it's gonna reuse those settings there or you know, have no settings if you've never streamed before. So you'll be able to click the edit button here and then edit all of the metadata and everything you want. So you'll be able to customize what you want right here. And then what you can do is hit cancel, and then you'll go to the manage tab, and then you can hit schedule stream. And then you'll be able to either reuse settings like I have here, a bunch of like YouTube streams we've done before, or you can create new, and that way you'll have this new event. So I'll just say new event, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then you have streaming software, because we're gonna go live through Streamlabs. You'll put in a thumbnail, I guess. I don't really think it matters because it's shorts. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, keep an eye on the pinned comment below. But you'll just customize everything you want here. Hit next. And then you can do some more customization here, which really doesn't matter that much. And then you want to make sure it's set to public so people can actually see your stream. Okay? So what we're going to do is hit public. And then we're going to hit done. And so now that's going to create an event for YouTube, so that way you can customize everything. You don't have to create an event, but this is just an option for those that want to take advantage of it. So now that we have our event, let's go back over to Streamlabs. And now we can hit go live. And then I'm going to turn off kick once again. So we have Twitch going horizontal, and then we have YouTube going vertical. So apologies to all my Twitch followers in advance, but we're just going to full send it right here. So we're going to go to show advanced settings. And then if you want, we have this new event here that we created so we can click on the event and it has the thumbnail and whatever else that we chose to do all the edits there if you wanted to you obviously don't have to if you don't want to and then you'll be able to simply hit the confirm and go live so here we go we're going to hit confirm and go live it's now going to put our stream over on twitch and then it's going to put our stream over on youtube i have my multi-stream chat right here which if you haven't set that up before i'll link that at the end of the video so we'll get there in a moment but now we're currently live let's go check out twitch and youtube so here we are over on youtube you can see that we have our vertical format set up here so if i go full screen you'll be able to see that this is what it's going to show up in the shorts feed and i'm actually curious to see what it's going to look like on a phone so I'm gonna go on my phone real quick and a different account and just see what the stream looks like on the phone and then I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. This is the YouTube channel that we're live on. You can see that our stream is there. So I guess there is a thumbnail. So if you wanna put thumbnail, you can. We'll click that, hopefully it'll open. And now you can see we're streaming on YouTube Shorts. So we got that little overlay and everything too. So you'll be able to see your viewers and everything and that's what the setup looks like. So you'll be able to make any changes that you want when you're streaming that way. But let's just double check and confirm that we're live over on Twitch, which I'm sure there's a couple people in the chat trying to figure out what the heck is going on. So let me bring that up. All right, so here's the channel. It's gonna load in in a second. And there we go. Okay, so we do have one person. What's up, Swendy? Welcome to the YouTube video. You're in the video, congratulations. And as you can see here, we are streaming on Twitch horizontal, and then our YouTube Shorts vertical stream is also going on. As you can see, we got bombarded with chat messages from everywhere, so apologies to the viewers. But if you guys wanna set up multi-stream chat for all your different platforms and your multi-stream alerts, then watch this multi-streaming playlist I have to the side of me. It has all my multi-streaming related videos like multi-chat and multi-alerts. So watch that playlist. My name's Cody, and I will see you in the next one.